So I thought it'd be fun to update you guys on how I'm doing with my goals that I've set for 2023. Starting with goal number one, to become a better, more organized, efficient father slash man. All that really means is that I want to be more responsible, less chaotic, be on time for things, and get my stuff together. Speaking of responsibilities, I gotta be some bright 420. You ready, girl? Ready. Let's go. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm glad we just ended did homework. You did not? I made it with time to spare. It's 4.14, five minutes early. Who's awesome? That's the first. <laughs> so Libra's got a parent teacher conference today. Lily's gonna watch the kids while Kira and I go do that. Are you ready though, girl? So ready. Levi's so excited. I was never excited for that, so it's weird that he's so good. That yeah, that means he's doing great. I love that. I love that. So Kara, I thought it'd be fun to ask you this question. That way oh. I know I'm not tooting my own horn, but how do you feel like I've been doing on my journey to become a more efficient father slash man? Um, <laughs> wow, that's a really deep question. Pretty much, am I being more responsible? Yes, you, okay, last year you kind of, obviously, understandably, there was a point where you were trying to progress but were kind of going the other way, but I feel like now you're truly seeing what you want and going after it. You definitely have been trying to make an effort to be a better dad, and no offense, but I don't think that was really ever one of your true goals. It was kind of like the last goal, but there was many that were before that, mm -hmm. and I feel like recently that is your main priority. Honestly, that's the nicest thing you've said to me in a long time. I'll take that. So we're making progress. That's good. I love that. That's you the sweetest thing you said are in the world. Making progress a lot quicker than I've ever seen you make progress in our relationship. Who's that handsome fellow? <laughs> you know, this ice almost killed me earlier. That was the goal. I put it there. <laughs> Whoa! Almost died. Hey, did you conference? Smashing success. I don't know what I expected, but he surpassed my expectations. Go Levi. Bye girls, I love you. So my second goal for 2023 was to upload 52 videos this year. This is the goal that I've been hyper-focused on and I am smashing. With my current upload schedule, we should get within those 52 videos in the next month. I aimed for 52 just to be more consistent, but when I really thought about it, I decided, you know what, why not challenge yourself do 52 in 52 days and feel more accomplished. Then I can focus on uploading twice a week and give me time to complete my other goals for the rest of the year. My next goal for 2023 was to stay in shape and work out at least 313 days out of the 365. And I've had to adjust this one as well, but not for the better this time. BT Dubs, we're at the gym. That employee definitely saw me jamming out. <laughs> How embarrassing. Because I've been prioritizing real estate school and editing, I've unfortunately had to cut my workouts down to every other day. And now this isn't a flex at all, but I did want to show you guys that I've still managed to stay in shape. I'm still relatively lean, which is nice, but I did want to get six workouts in a week, and it just hasn't been possible. So, although we're falling behind on the goal itself, I feel like adjusting it for the productivity of the rest of the goals has been a success. Can't give it a full success, but it's working out nonetheless. I'm pretty proud of that pun, even though it wasn't intended. <laughs> the booty builder, huh? We could use a little more booty in my life. <laughs> I mean, for me, no, no, no. I mean on me. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I wouldn't mind my two personal gluteus maximus muscles to be a little bigger. Still not the best choice of words. I have no idea how to use this thing. What are the seatbelts for? <laughs> Thrusting like this does have a tendency to turn off the lights. <laughs> okay, that was too far. I need to turn this freaking camera off. Oh my god. And to think I've matured. Oh my god. I've been lying to you guys this whole time. So goal number four for 2023 is to sell a house. I really don't know how far along I should be in this goal. 
but I am 46% of the way through school, which is great. I just don't know if that's where I should be. I mean, at this rate, it's gonna take me probably another month to finish. Then I gotta schedule testing, which could be a few weeks to a month out. Learning the ropes might take me another month, finding a client could take me another month, and selling a house takes another month. At that rate, I'll get done by July, which is great, but I'm not including any setbacks, which could or may potentially happen, and that stresses me out. We are getting somewhere, so we're not failing, but I feel like I should be further along in this goal, and that stresses me out a little bit. Well, number five that I've been working on for 2023 is to find a form of passive income. As we speak, somebody's currently working on their goal to find more passive income by building these apartments. In the future, I want that someone to be me. Obviously, this is like a 10 year goal. For now, we're starting much, much smaller, but I am working on something. This project I'm working on, I don't think it'll be done by 2023, but it will be a source of passive income if it succeeds. But at least I found something, and so I have to give that one a success. We're doing great there. I don't wanna lie, I did start working on this the second half of last year, but nothing was set in stone until this year. It's, I'm so excited about that. I just hope it succeeds, or else this entire goal has been a complete failure, and so maybe I shouldn't celebrate yet. My last and final goal, I knew I was gonna struggle with the most, and I hate that I have allowed myself to fall so far behind on it. It was to post once a week on Instagram and or TikTok, and I'm just not very good at those platforms. I actually don't spend very much time on them, so I don't know what's trending, I don't really know what people like, but what I do understand a little better is YouTube. So I have been hyper-focusing on that. Unfortunately, it's come at a cost of not even I haven't even posted once on these other platforms, but I still want to work towards it And so I should be posting something tomorrow Which means by the time you guys watch this there should be something new on my Instagram But I've been failing miserably at goal number six as I should because I have been applying myself very little towards that goal But overall I am pretty happy with my progress I know I'm failing one and had to readjust one but out of six we are crushing four which is great super happy if there's anything I've learned this last month trying to manage all these goals is that you just gotta start. That is the biggest and hardest step, the scariest one by far, just starting. I hope you guys are accomplishing your New Year's resolutions as well. We can all do this together. If you haven't started, it's never too late. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you in the next one. Peace.